so welcome friends once again in our youtube channel so today we are going to learn about how to how to repair a uh, laptop dead laptops if it is not powering on we are using this book uh, with the help of this book we are going to trace the problem we're going to use the flow chart so here i have this uh, motherboards this motherboard i have and this motherboard is not powering on the lenovo idea pad 310 okay and here i open a schematic diagram and i'm going to diagnose the problem with the help of this book so here i have a flow chart so this is a flow chart with the help of flow chart i am going to diagnose the problem in this motherboard so let's start so the first thing uh, we have to check uh, that is a voltage on the current sensing resistor so here is a diagram so i'll open a schematic diagram i'll zoom this page where is my battery charging section resistors yes so this is a current sensing resistor so this is a my uh, battery charging section and here is this uh, current sensing resistor okay so this is my current sensing resistor so here i have to check uh, the voltages uh, that is 19 volts so i'll connect my dc power supply which is already set to 19.5 and connect to this motherboard and if the voltage is passed through the current sensing resistor and come across this uh, sio then the current will show here from 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere so let's see the current is showing 19 milliampere over here so current should come from 4 to 20 milliamperes if it is power is going to the sio so 19 milliampere is coming here okay but still we are going to check uh, voltage on the current sensing register so the location of the register is r pr301 pr301 pr pause so here is a pr301 so this one is a pr301 okay this one so here we are going to check the voltage so we connect the multimeter we kept the multimeter on the 20 volt on a dc and uh, we connect our multimeter at this resistor and we turn on and then you can see the voltage is coming here on the multimeters 19.5 volt is coming on the current sensing resistor so the first thing you have to check on the current sensing resistor that is adapter voltage okay the next we are going to check 3 and 5 voltage so we'll go to the 3 volt and 5 volt sections so we'll scroll down this page and uh, here is my 3 volt and 5 volt section so this 3 volt and 5 volt section is a single chip buck converter so here in old generation laptop the 3 volt and 5 volt section is a combined chips and there are two mosfet beside the chips okay but here uh, the 3 volt and 5 volt chip is a different and the mosfet is included in the chips so there is a no separate mosfet so this is a chip and uh, the chip location is a pu401 so this is a pu301 and the chip number is sy8286brac so this is a chip number and location is a pu401 and input voltage that is that is uh, adapter voltage is going into pin number two three four five so this is the input pin okay and this uh, chip has the two enable signal uh, pin number 12 is again the enable signal for the linear enable so, so see this three volt and five volt section have linear voltage and the buck converter also the first linear voltage will come out that is the ld voltage is called the vl voltage so that voltage come out from pin number 17 but before enable signal so enable pin, uh, signal is a uh, pin number 11 so we'll check pin number 235 that is the input and then we are going to check on pin number 17 that is a linear output so let's start on the motherboards here's this chips so this one is the chips so here we are going to check the voltage connect the multimeter 19 volt input to the chips this 3 volt and 5 volt chips and then of course the enable signal and the next is ld output that is 17 so this is the pin number 17 ld output 
So once this voltage entered, then it get enabled, and then pin number 17 linear voltage. It's called the 3 VLP. This 3 VLP is voltage is going to the SI. So we'll check this voltage at pin number 17. Okay, pin number 17. 17 pi like the linear voltage. 3 VL voltage. Yes. See in the multimeter, this voltage is coming. This is the linear voltage. Okay. So the 3 volt and 5 volt chip first you will generate the linear voltage that is going to the SIO. And once you get the second enable signal, then the buck converter will start. And then again the 3 volt will come. That is always voltage. That voltage is going to the CPU, then BIOS, main BIOS, then LCD, then Wi-Fi then display everywhere it's going everywhere but that is only an after power on button but linear voltage will generate before power on button so we check already linear voltage and that voltage is going to the SIO so we'll check this voltage on the SIO so let's we'll see on the schematic diagram so we scroll up and we'll see where is my schematic diagram uh, SIO SIO yeah 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 this one is my SIO okay this one is my SIO Okay, SIO location is a UE1 and the number of the SIO is IT8586E. Okay, so here is a V standby pin. Okay, so this is a VL voltage. Okay, so the VL voltage is coming from the 3 volt and 5 volt section, which is going to the any of this pin. So we can check either 2650, 92, 114, 121, any of this pin will check this voltage. So we'll connect on uh, SIO. So here is SIO, UE1, and uh, we are going to check on pin number 127, 3.3 voltage, that is a 3 voltage, which is coming on the SIO. So the power is coming, you can see on the multimeter. Okay, start. So now what we did is we check uh, this uh, 19 volt at the current sensing register. So then we'll go down and we check uh, supply on the SIO, uh, after that, uh, these two things are we already covered. So the register current sensing register voltage is coming, and then three voltage is coming. So you can see in this uh, in this uh, flow chart, adapter voltage is here, and then this voltage will travel across this current sensing register. Then it will enter into the chips and then come out the 3 VL voltage into the SI. You can see in the new generation motherboard also. So this is a new generation motherboard. And uh, this voltage is cross this two MOSFET, come across this current sensing resistor, travel the input into, this is a 3 volt and this is a 5 volt chips. So this, sorry, so this is a 3 volt chip. So the 19 voltage, 19.5 volt entered into this 3 volt chip and the 3, 3 VLP, you can see here, 3 VLP, this linear voltage come out and this voltage is going to the SI. So voltage SI got the voltage. Now, <clears throat> once we press the power button, then the current should be shoot up and the different different uh, signals start communicating uh, between the SI and the uh, CPU that we check. So first we check the power button. For the power button, so at the power button pin, we should get a three volt. And once we press uh, power button, then the voltage is, will be the variation three volt, zero, zero, three, zero, three variation will be there. So we'll check on the power button and once we press the power button, the RSM, RST and the PO power, PM power button signal should generate by the SIO. So we'll check that and uh, even with the help of a DC or DC power supply, we'll come to know that uh, now the current is coming somewhere around 17 to 18 milliampere. After pressing a power button, this current should be shoot up to the 400 to 500 milliampere. And if it is remains same, that means not a powering on then we'll check all all this line okay so now we'll go to the power button so let's start here is my power button so power switch and we connect our multimeter to the my power switch and the voltage is coming here is a three volt okay so now we press the power button then voltage will go to the zero and when we release the power button then it will come back to three that means the three zero three variation should come now we press this button, you can see here, once we press this button, it goes zero and come back to three, but there is a no variation on the DC power supply. That means our laptop motherboard is dead, it's not powering on. Okay, so that is a confirm. So let's go to the flowchart and we'll see 
how to which are the next signal we have to check here we can see that uh, till here we are okay the 303 variation is coming on the power button after that next signal we have to check that is the rsmrst rsmrst generated by the sio so we'll see where is this rsmrst on the sio pin so we can search or we can find rsmrst signal yeah this one rsmrst pin number 93 93 is a pin number is output signal going to the page number 11 so we'll check at pin number 93 rsm rst signal so we'll check there right here on uh, press the power button and the rsm rst is coming zero that means no variations on the on the multimeter after pressing a power button the voltage should be three volt but it's showing a zero volt that means si is not responding now why the si is not responding we'll see that so we'll come back across to our uh, schematic diagram and we'll check ec reset then we check ac in we check lead sensor so ec reset ac in and lead so first we'll check ec reset so here is a ec reset so sometimes ec reset is called w reset also so here is a w reset mentioned uh, pin number 14 we should get a 3 volt this, this is the rc circuit over here so pin number 14 we are going to check ec reset then we are going to check ac in ac in pin number 108 so okay so we are going to check both the voltage 33 3 volts so first we are going to check ec reset 14 so the ec reset is coming 3 volt that means si got the reset ec means in barrett controller so as I got the reset, start reading the bias, EC bias, there are two bias, uh, one is the main bias and another EC bias, EC bias which connected to the SIO and newer models, this EC bias is mostly within the SIO, that means inside the SIO, there is no physical bias, only the firmware there inside the SIO, it's called the programmable SIO. So <clears throat> we check EC reset, then we are going to check AC in signal. AC in signal that is pin number 108. So the AC in signal pin 108 it shows show 3 volt and 3 volt is showing on the multimeters. So that means AC in that means adapter current in this signal indicate that adapter voltage is present. If it is a here is a 0 volt that means power working on the battery and if it is coming a here a 3 volt that means the power working on the adapter is indicate to the SI. So after EC in signal, uh, okay, we check EC reset, then we check AC in signal. Now we are going to check lead sensor. Lead sensor is a magnetic sensor that is magnet somewhere here. And there is a sensor on the motherboard. It's called a three leg sensor. That signal we are going to check on uh, pin number 109. It's called the lead switch. Okay, pin number 109. Pin number 109, we are going to check. And uh, it should show 3 volt uh, lead switch or lead sensor coming from page number 45. And uh, we are going to check on this uh, on this motherboard. And uh, here it is showing a 0 volt. That means here is a problem. It should show 3 volt on the lead switch but now it's showing a zero volt that means the problem so i have to find where is that lead sensor okay so now what i will do is so here it is coming a uh, zero volt so i have to find where is my lead sensor so what i'll do is i'll select this lead switch i will copy this i will go here then find pick then next 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 so here is my lead sensor this is a look like a mosfet the look around in so i have to find where is so lead sensor so when i locate from this lead sensor i got this so, so this is uh, my lead switch the lead sensor or lead switch location is u14 location is a u14 and this is a three leg sensor and uh, this pin is a input ground this pin is a pin is a supply and this three number is the output which is going to the SIO. Use 14. 
So I am getting you here a zero volt. That means the sensor is bad. But still, I am going to check your voltage. Pin number one, pin number three, uh, two. That is three volt. And output should come three volt. And if if I take a magnet close to this uh, component or this uh, uh, sensor, then the voltage goes to down, it's become a zero. But anyway, here it's coming a zero volt. Okay. So I'm going to check here at pin number three, U14. So I have to look at U14 where it is. So this is a U14. This is a three leg component. Okay. And I'm going to check voltage over here. Pin number three output. So voltage is come here a zero. That means my sensor is bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm to remove this sensor. I'm going to put new sensor over here. So we are remo removing sensor. So here I have faulty, okay, and I have uh, another working uh, lead sensor. You can use lead sensor from the any motherboard. It's the same. You can remove any faulty motherboard. So I have a working lead sensor. So I'm going to put you over here, okay. A new sensors lead sensor. Is this uh, lead sensor? You can see, and uh, if this if this sensor is short, then the laptop will not powering on. It depends whether it is uh, Compel, Quanta, Vistron, Inventec, which model it is. But in our laptops, laptop is not powering on due, due to the lead sensor. You are supposed to come uh, three volt, but it's showing uh, zero volt. So we put another sensor over there. Now we are going to check uh, the voltage at this pin number. So let's start there. The voltage is coming over here on this lead sensor output. Now how to check this sensor whether it is working or not. So uh, you have to take a, a, a magnet over here and uh, connect multimeter to the output pin. And we take uh, this magnet close to this sensor. Then this voltage becomes a zero. And then we, if we keep away uh, this magnet, then it become a three volt. So these things are coming. You can see. So now everything is done. Uh, we check the lead sensor. Lead sensor is working. And uh, now we are going to press the power button, and we'll see on a DC power supply whether it is current shooting or not. So. Turn on the press, turn on the switch, and you can see uh, on the DC meter that current is shooting, shoot up to the uh, 562 milliampere. That means laptop is power on. The next, uh, all the signals are coming. Okay, next signal that is SLP3, SLP4, this signal will appear. So after that, uh, uh, when this, if things are okay, then the SLP3, SLP4 will come. Then see, so on, we are on all the signal will come. And uh, then this cycle will be complete. This cycle will be complete and the motherboard will be turned on. So the, now the motherboard is turned on. So we check uh, this motherboard uh, and uh, we diagnose this motherboard with the help of this book. So these books have the multiple uh, flow chart like uh, not, not powering on, uh, then battery not charging, then no display. CSM regions, then bias editing is also there in this book, beam display, white display, USB not working, so many problems are there. So you can get these books and uh, become experts in the laptop repair. And if you are doing a work in a MacBook, so we have book for you for the MacBook, you can use this book for the so Apple laptops repair till M1, okay? So you can use these two books uh, to become a good engineers and uh, diagnose the problem accurately, okay? So thank you very much.